Today, I built a working flying orb inside build a for treasure. Gravelable orbs and hamster balls are cool, but having a flying version is even better. This flying orb can take you anywhere throughout the build a map. You can even take a couple friends with you and make it to the end almost every time. It also has a speed boost that you can use to accelerate even faster. With the new travel tool, building circles is a whole lot easier. We're trying to hit 25,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy, please check the subscribe button to see if you've subscribed. You can unsubscribe anytime later and it's completely free. Enjoy. Alrighty, so we are back in build about and we are going to be checking out this flying orb right here. And this right here, guys, isn't any ordinary sphere. It can actually fly and it can actually take you to the end. So anyways, let's just get into it. So we are joined by some of my friends who actually wanted to come along for the ride. So let's go ahead and test drive this. Let's flick on this switch and we are going to start to fly. Let's go ahead and use this flying orb. And here we go. As you can see, you guys can basically fly in any part of the map. So if I wanted to visit that mech over there, I could actually come over here and go right over here. And you guys may notice that this magnet glitch is actually really smooth. It's powered by these magnets that are invisible right now and getting to the end might be really easy just going through all of the stages so anyways let's try to get to the end and here we go and we're just gonna come through the stages through the black wall and as you guys can see it's really smooth so you basically don't have to control the flying orb at all oh no anyways so we're just gonna get back on track and you guys basically don't really have to control it at all you guys can just leave it in autopilot mode and we're about to get to the end and here we go we're just gonna claim our treasure and we made it and we got ourselves our gold block and let's see how much gold we got and we got 237 with the double gold game pass now there is one last feature that is actually really cool about this build which is the extra speed boost by this magnet glitch so let me just show you it real quick so if i were to just come over here and go this way then you can just redirect yourself this way and boost yourself just like that and you can like boost down and up too. So you guys can just boost like that. And it just does a cool little orbital thing. And you guys can just boost around your way through the whole map. And you guys can literally breeze through the whole entire map. And as you guys can see, we are basically past the end. And this thing can actually go super fast. Now, if you were like on the verge of dying. So let's say if you were close to the void like this, you can redirect yourself up like this and you wouldn't actually die and you would just be flying back in the air now this thing is really smooth so if you were to go a certain direction it wouldn't actually take you there that quickly so what i did was add this redirection and it just adds a new speed effect so anyways let's hop into the materials and then how to build it so now let's go ahead and jump to the materials for the materials i used glass plastic a pilot seat magnets titanium wheels from the old legacy car pack and that's basically it. Anyways, that's all the materials that are covered in the build. So let's go ahead and build it. To start, go ahead and make sure that your merging level is on red for the build. Now we're going to be going ahead and placing a block down like so. And we're just going to scale it up until 20 studs. And to see your studs, you would actually want to click on this plus button. And as you guys can see, it's 2, 2, and 2. So if I were to scale this up, up to 20, it would show 20. And now what you guys want to do is place a plastic block on top of this rod that we made. Then we're going to go ahead and get our scale tool and set our scale to 2. And we're just going to scale to the left three times. So 1, 2, 3. Then we're just going to scale all the way in. Then we're going to set our rotate to 15. And we're just going to do this backside over here of the circle. And the rest in the front are, are going to be glass. So let's go ahead and rotate one time. Scale one, two, three, then all the way in. Do the same thing, but rotate two times. One, two, then rotate um, right there, all the way in. You guys basically get the gist of it. We're just going to rotate um, one more time every single time. So that was the third time. So one, two, three, four, then scale it all the way out, then all the way in. One, two, three, four, five, scale it out all the way in. And we're just going to not rotate that one. And we're just going to go ahead and scale it all the way in. Rotate one time, scale it, rotate two times, scale it, scale in, rotate three times, scale it, and scale in, rotate four times, and that was actually three times, one, two, three, four, okay, scale it, and we're just gonna rotate five times, and we're just gonna do the same thing, and as you guys can see, this is basically a repetitive process that's done over and over again, and we have half a circle done. So now we're just going to be um, getting our glass. So uh, let's go ahead and get our glass block. We're going to place one right here. Now we're going to scale out um, three times. So one, two, three. Scale all the way in. Now rotate one time. Do the same thing. 
rotate two times and we're just gonna go right here and we're basically gonna have three glass blocks um, beside this one middle block so we have two over here so we're just gonna add one more so one two three and we're just gonna scale it just like this now we're gonna do the same on this side so um, rotate five times instead so one two three four five and we're just gonna scale it right here now rotate four times one two three four and then rotate three times and that was not three times so one two three and there we go now we got three times so now we're just gonna fill the rest with plastic so go ahead and get your plastic plug rotate one time over here for this side rotate five times one two three four five and we're just gonna scale it over here now rotate two times one two and we're just gonna place that right there now rotate four times one two three four and there we go we basically have this half circle filled now that we have the circle, if you guys want to paint it, it is recommended to paint it now because after duping, it's kind of hard to paint it. So let's go ahead and paint it right now. We're just going to get our paint tool. We're going to paint it this red right here. We're just going to go ahead and just paint our plastic blocks. The glass has a good color to it, so I'm just going to leave it. Now we can just go ahead and delete this wooden um, rod. And now we're going to go ahead and select our trowel. Now just highlight it just like this. Um, set it to clone and let's see let's go up 10 times so one no let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that should give us enough room to actually make the whole sphere so now that you have this we're actually gonna place another plastic block in the middle of this so we're just gonna get um right here on this block right here we're just gonna place a block right here we're gonna scale down one time scale down all the way then scale to the other side now that we have this we are ready to make our sphere we are just going to reselect this whole thing with our trowel like this and we're just going to set it onto clone then we're just going to clone it down and we're just going to set it to the same level as this and then don't touch any of it and set it to rotate and then it should be aligned in the center if it's not hold shift and click this center two times and then it will recenter your whole thing then rotate it up one time like this and as you guys can see that is part one of the um, sphere so now go ahead and delete the plastic block we're just going to repeat this process again but we're going to do it on the bottom so as you guys can see it is off center so i'm just going to um, click this while holding shift click the middle block and click it again and as you guys can see it recentered then put your thing to clone and set it to the same level as your original block like this. Then set it on rotate and then rotate down. And as you guys can see, we are going to slowly build the sphere. Now just delete the plastic block and we're going to do the same process again. We're going to select this. We're going to clone it. Set it to the same level as the middle block. And there we go. Set it to rotate. And we're just going to rotate up just like that. And as you guys can see, we are building the sphere more and more. So you guys just want to repeat this process until you guys actually have a full sphere. So I'm just going to do a few more and then I'm going to speed it up. So right here, we're going to rotate. And then we're just going to rotate it down. Um, Let's just go ahead, place it right here. And there we go. Now just delete the plastic block every time. And we're just going to do the same process again. Clone. Set it down. Then we're just going to go ahead and put rotate. Then rotate one, two, three times now. Then just go ahead and delete this. Now we're going to clone it again. So go ahead and select it. Set it to clone. Clone it down like this. Set it to rotate and rotate it down like this and there we go we have more of our sphere so now i'm just going to speed up the process until i'm done So now we are on our final um, rotation. So let's go ahead and rotate this into place. And there we go. We have our full sphere. 
So now you guys can just delete the thing on top. Let me just delete this plastic block first though. And there we go. So now you guys can go ahead and just delete the top part. And we're just going to delete it just like this. And there we go. So now our next step is making the boosters of it. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and get a plastic block and place a plastic block right here. And on the other side, right on the circle again, right here. We're going to set our skill to one and scale it down to six like this on each side. And that is six. Then we're going to set our skill to 0 0.5 and scale down one time on each side like this. We're going to set our rotate on 45 degrees. And we're just going to tilt um, over here. So tilt two times, then tilt one time. And you guys will just want to place the plastic block right here like that. And then do the same right here. Then scale um, down, put your scale to one. Scale down, scale down, scale in and scale in. Do the same over here. And we're just going to get this perfect ledge like this. We're just going to have it just like this. And we're just going to scale all the way. We're going to do the same over here. And there we go. We have a little part of our booster. Now we're going to go ahead and place another plastic block on top of here. Like this. Do the same over here. Take your skill to 0 0.2 and scale all the way down on each side. Take your scale to 0 0.5 and scale one time in on each side. Like this. Then we're just going to scale it all the way back until it reaches the platform. And there we go. We just did that. Now turn on match rotation, place a block right here, like that. Do the same on this side. Do your skill to 0 0.2, scale all the way down. Same for this side. Set your skill to 0 0.5. Scale it until it's the same length, like this. And we're just going to scale it until it's the same length of the original piece. Then scale it to 0 0.2 and scale one time in on each side, just like this. Then set your scale to 1 and scale it all the way back. And we're just going to do the same for this side. And there we go. Now that we have this, we're going to place another plastic block right here on each of these sides. Then we're going to set our scale to 0 0.5 and scale one time in on each side. Like this. Do the same over here. One time down, one time in. And there we go. Then we're just going to set our... Then we're just going to rotate up one time like this on each side. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place another block right here. Rotate um, over here. One, two, and then boom. Um, set your move to 0 0.5. And then rotate it like this until it's on this corner. Do the same over here. Rotate two times and tilt one time. There we go. So now what you guys want to do is go ahead and scale this inside of here like this. And now, as you guys can see, we have this shape right here. And we're just going to scale it until we have it perfectly right here. And there we go. So now you guys can scale this back and we're going to scale this until four studs. So we're just going to scale it two times with our skill on one now. So one, two, one, two, and just do the same on this side. And there we go. Now I'm just going to paint it red again, like the body. And we're just going to place it over here. Now we are going to be working on the flying mechanics. So let's go ahead and place a plastic block on each side on top of these right here. Um, but before we do that, to make it more accurate, we're just going to get our scale to 1 and our rotate to 90. We're going to redo that. So we're just going to place a plastic block on each of these wings on top of this part right here. Then we're just going to scale down one time and scale down another time. And we're just going to do the same thing over here. So now we have it scaled inside the wing. So now what we're going to do is scale in on each side. Then we're just going to scale up. We're going to scale up 10 studs. So we're just going to go up to 11 like this and 11 on this side right here. Now we're just going to place a plastic block on each side. We're going to scale down on each side and we're just going to scale it until five studs like this. And there we go. We're going to be placing a titanium block. We're going to place it right here, um, somewhere here. Let's put our move on 0 0.5. Let's place it right here. Let's rotate down one time, rotate in. 
and we're just gonna fill it in to this gap, rotate in until it's filled in like this. Then we're just gonna scale it to 16 studs on um, together. So we're just gonna scale, let's see, seven times on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just gonna scale out until 16 on this side. And you guys should have this. Now we're just gonna find the center, select it with your scale tool and place a titanium block right over here. Now we're just gonna get our wheels. Let's go ahead and place it right, right here and another one back to back. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our magnets. Let's place two back here and then one in the front facing the wheel like this. Then we're just gonna go ahead and place a titanium rod right here. Then we're just gonna go ahead and get our springs. So let's place a spring on this side like this and then one over here. And we're just gonna place it like this. There we go. Now we're just gonna add a little bit boost effect over here. So let's go ahead and go under. Let's get the middle block and we're just gonna get our titanium. So let's go ahead and get it. And we're just gonna place it right in the center of this. I think that is the center. No, that's not the center. You guys can always just scale it in until it's the center. And there we go. So that is now the center. And then we're just gonna place a wheel facing down. This will be for the boost effect. We're going to place it right over here, just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and get our magnet. And we're just going to be placing it behind this. Let's have the top part on the block, but the bottom part not on the block. And there we go. You guys should have something like this. So you guys are basically done with the tutorial. So let's go ahead and place our pilot seat to connect all of this. So let's gonna, we're just going to place it somewhere in the middle right here. We're just going to zoom in a little right here and we're just going to place it just right here. Then we're going to go ahead and get our switch. So let's go ahead and get a switch real quick. And we're just going to place it beside the pilot seat somewhere around here. And we're just going to place it like right here. And there we go. So now the switch actually connected to something on its own and I think it connected to the magnet. So I'm going to select the magnet and I'm just going to select this switch right here. And as you guys can see, it unbinded it. It was this magnet, by the way. Now we're just gonna unbind all of this from the pilot seat and we're actually gonna make that activated by the switch. So we're just gonna go ahead and unbind all of this right here. And we're also gonna unbind this wheel from the pilot seat as well. Let's go ahead and unbind it like that. Then we just want this magnet right here to be binded to the seat and it is right now. Now we're just gonna go ahead and select these um, three magnets right here. And we're just gonna select the switch and that's basically how we're gonna fly. So now we are basically done with the tutorial. So go ahead and select all of this and we're just gonna set the transparency to 100%. So nobody will see our mechanics. And let's go ahead and do the same over here. Transparency on 100%. Now to get in, you guys can actually use a portal or just select part of it right here and turn collision off to actually get inside and like go through the wall. But I'm actually gonna place a portal inside of here like this and we're just gonna place it right here. Then we're just gonna place a portal right here and we're actually gonna save this. So let's go ahead and save it and let's hop into the whole thing. Let's delete the portals, select all and unanchor to set up. Go ahead and unanchor your build like this. Then all you have to do now is just flick your switch and you guys will start flying like this and basically you guys can go anywhere on the map and as you guys can see we are flying anywhere and as you guys can see it's kind of hard to actually get to places so with that you guys can activate this magnet wait a few seconds and that's basically um what the pilot seat is connected to on mobile press the red target on pc press f and then activate it and it just redirects you just like that and we're just going to go ahead and use it again and boom and then as soon as you guys press it reload it by clicking um the target sign or f again and then you can just click it again just like that so anyways we are basically done with the whole tutorial and i hope you guys enjoy grinding gold with this so anyways see you later